Okay. So there is many uh, writers uh, try to uh, to say to those uh, scholars and uh, mullahs in Syria, say that uh, you allow to us to uh, speak about the stories uh, in uh, Taurat as a as a, a legend or mythology stories. Mm -hmm. But when we come to Quran, you say this is not uh, mythology stories, this is only uh, this is Real realistic. Realistic. Huh? Realistic, yes. So, what is the advantage of uh, the stories in Quran and uh, how we can understand it in the light of science? Like Adam and Hawa <coughs> and Noah. Unfortunately, the ulema themselves are responsible for obscuring the beauty of the Quranic uh, narrations because when they fail to understand the significance of the Quranic reference to the past, they turn to the Bible, whom they themselves consider to be legend as compared to the Quran and they draw their inspiration largely from the Bible. Not only that, but also from the Apocrypha, the material which found vogue in, among the Jewish people as uh, hearsay stories and tales and things, which became very popular. So the Muslim ulama of the medieval period unfortunately lent far more towards those hearsay reports. And in the light of that, imagine, or in the darkness of that, they tried to read the light of the Quran. This is what has gone totally wrong with the scholars of the Middle Ages who have completely distorted the image of the Quran reading it through the colored eyeglasses of the Jewish people. So this sums up the entire tragedy. This I have been exposing during my Dharsis of the Quran here during Ramadan and elsewhere. Whenever I uh, give lessons of the Quran, I come to such places where this has happened. And I quote, a large number of examples where they have gone wrong and why they have gone wrong. So the Quran should be read independently first and attempted to be understood with the help of no other book than the Quran itself. Then it will never lead you astray. It cannot lead you astray because this is the pure, pure well protected the word of God, unadulterated by human interference. But once you have read it, then you turn to the Bible and compare the stories. Then you will understand what had happened before, why the Holy Quran on the one hand supports the Bible as the word of God and why on the other it rejects it as a book which has been intensely interpolated and extensively interpolated. You understand? Yes. But that in, in itself is a very interesting <coughs> subject which answers a very big reply mm -hmm. with, with help of the illustrations. So I think for the time being this, should, this answer should be sufficient.